Hey, what is going on everybody? Scary Spikes here, welcoming you back to some more Friday Night Magic. Thank you very much for joining me. And our first game here is going to be against uh, just a buddy of mine off a of Steam here, Ziggai, who I've been playing Magic with for a little while. And uh, just happened to catch me online, so we're going to give him a big shout out and play against him. Uh, this doesn't look like a very good hand though. We do have the Ulcer Weights though, but I think I want to draw something new. This is a lot better. And we've got the uh, draw power of Think Twice as well as Shock. So let's go ahead and keep that. And uh, yeah, let's just play let's play a mountain first so we have the shock available. And then we'll just pass the turn. So uh, this is Gr uh, Grixis Control. Sorry guys, it's been a long day. I can't uh, speak at all. It's uh, Grixis Control that I'm revisiting here. This is a deck that I uh, really love playing. If you guys know me or have been, watch my vi have been watching my videos, there it goes again. Have been watching my videos for a while, you probably know uh, that I love control decks. Uh, so, should I just play... Yeah, why don't we get a blue source? So, you, you probably know I love control decks. I love playing control decks in Magic 2015. I love playing control decks uh, in Paper Magic. Just something about being the master of your own destiny one game at a time is uh, really, really cool. So, Ziggai here is playing red, white, and blue, looks like. Used to be known as the American Colors, and... Oh, I could have uh, I could have thunk twice there, but that's okay. Looks like this is a bit of a slow start for the both of us. I wasn't really paying attention to my uh, my hand here, and he's gonna. Okay, I'm actually gonna respond to that thing twice. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna respond to that thing twice because it's my turn. <laughs> but I could have been uh, up one card by now if I was only paying attention. So there goes another land. And he's going to go to end step, and I'm going to play Think Twice of my own. Alright, cool. We get the uh, Vapor Snag there. That's pretty sweet. And why don't I... Because if I play an untapped land, I can do this, right? So why don't I do that? Oh, I could have just played the uh, the Mountain. Or the Mountain. The Swamp, rather. That's okay. Um, oh, should I just play this? Yeah, let me play this. There we go. Let me play that, and then I can uh, crack this on his turn. So see we got two, two red sources, two blue sources. I think we get another black source and another blue source. Seems good. Alright, he's gonna think twice, uh, flashing it back. That's pretty cool. So that gets exiled now. Once you flash something back it does get exiled, but uh, think twice is really cool because it draws you a card for two and then it draws you another card uh, for three out of the graveyard, which is really nice. Wow, pretty slow start here for the both of us. Uh, Ziggai sitting on four lands here, and uh, myself sitting on four as well, with uh, a little bit of acceleration on the field. Usually Ziggai is a little bit more talkative here, but that's okay. It's a very tense game. <laughs> What's going on? Does he, uh, did, he, did he pass the turn here? No, it's still his turn. I wonder... He's probably just still debating. Okay, that's fine. Please a quicken. What else does he have up his sleeve? He's got eight cards in hand now. He's gonna bane fire me? I don't know, man. Um, well, let me let me respond to that by popping this, because I don't think he's gonna. Yeah, he's tapped out. He's not gonna be able to do anything else. I don't know, man. I think that's something that you save for a little bit later. But I guess considering uh, I don't have any creatures or threats out right now, he's deciding to do it to my face. Let's get black and blue. But um, bane fire is a one of I think that I run in here as well. But I generally save it for the time when I get lots of lands and, you know, I can whittle my opponent down to about, you know, five or six health and I just, you know, bane fire them to death. So, there we go. We get some lands. Uh, we might as well play our tapped source because why the hell not? And um, then we've got potentially, I think, twice if he doesn't do anything else. If he plays a creature, I might be able to kill it. Uh, it's, looks like a bit of a control deck that he's playing, though. Time Warp. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and flash this back. I can't remember if I have a negate in here, but I guess it wouldn't matter because yeah, we get the ulcerate. It's okay, if he plays anything else, we can just vapor snag, so that's pretty good too. This is instant speed, yeah. So he gets another turn, and this is, again, this is another card that I'd, I probably personally would have saved for a little bit later. I. I mean, it works very well with Archeomancer, but I can't seem to recall if there's any combo. Like, if you're playing green as well, you got the um, Archeomancer Species Gorger combo, which is just infinite turns with uh, Time Warp. Alright, let's play another land, and... Let's see, if I play this right now, this is, what, six? I don't want to play this right now, because 
if I do... If I do, and he's got a response, I'm kind of screwed. So what I want to do is I want to maybe lure out that response with an Obelisk of Alara. Let's see if we can get him to counterspell this. Because that's one less counterspell that he's using on the creature that can give us our spells back. So I'd rather lose the Obelisk, to be honest with you, and it's, it seemed to work here, so that's pretty good. And now I know a lot of you might be saying, I've played against Zigai before, I have a tactical advantage. To be honest, we haven't played a game in probably at least a few months, so um, I, <laughs> I don't know too much about his playstyle. We do play some games casually here and there. Uh, he's got nothing, eh? Yeah, this is uh, definitely the mirror here. Let's play another Swamp. And I don't know, I'm still a little bit cautious about this. We've got three more land in hand. I think I just want to wait because we do have our own counter spell as well and we just want to play it safe, so let's do that. Because that way, I can probably win the Counterspell War. If I end up playing Charmbreaker Devils with 9 mana out, at least I have a way of Counterspelling that. So... Nothing else for him. Mm, okay. It is what it is. Let's see what we have. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 7, and there's 8. So we're not going to play this right now. We're going to wait until next turn. This is uh, turning into a hell of a 10s game, to be honest. I was joking around with it at first, but hey... Seems like it's getting pretty tense. Both of us uh, basically just keeping a near full grip. Nothing else from him. Okay, there's another counter spell. So we've got three, six, eight, nine. Now we just have to make sure we, we have two blue up. So let's do this. There's one blue. There's two blue. Okay. Unless my math is really off here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We should have 3 mana left, and we do. Does he counterspell it? No, he doesn't. Okay. Charmbreaker Devils it is. Um, I guess we can just pass the turn. So this is really cool here, because we have the option now of uh, vapor, snaggers, uh, vapor Snagging our own creature. So if he decides to do something crazy to it, like if he's got another Banefire in hand, and tries to kill that, Angelic Edict. There we go. So I think... I'm going to just counterspell that, because there's no reason to return it to my hand. And we're going to bottom that, because we don't need any more lands. It's nice to be able to have this in hand, though. What else does he have? Okay, that's fine. That is fine. It's nice to have this in hand, because the Vapor Snag can be used defensively against your opponent's creatures, but it can also be used on your own creatures. And uh, what did we get? Yeah, we got our Dissolve back, so isn't that sweet? We got our dissolve back, and now we can attack. We can't attack because he's gonna prevent all damage. Hmm. We could just double lightning shock it. Lightning shock it. <laughs> we could double shock it. Um, or we no. What the hell am I talking about? We can just um. We can just do this, right? We can just ulcerate it. I mean, we're gonna take three and be down to fifteen, but who really cares? And. I think in the meantime, we're going to pump up our dude, so we're going to kill that, we're going to take 3 damage. Fortunately, that only stops combat damage and not any other kinds, so that's pretty good, and then we'll be able to come in for 8. We just go into combat, and that's it, we're going to have him at uh, nearly half health there, so this is turning out to be a pretty decent game. Is the guy still pretty quiet? That's okay, so am I, to be honest guys, I'm, I'm usually very, very quiet when I play, I don't usually banter. Uh, I have any friendly banter, or... Uh, any kind of chatting with my opponent, usually I just stay very quiet. And it's not because I'm antisocial or anything like that, it's just I... Um, when I'm in the zone, I'm in the zone. Okay, what does he got here? What is this? Where did the eye enters the battlefield? Return target, non-creature, non-land card from your graveyard. Alright, well... I've got lots of mana, and we're gonna get the spell back, or at least one of them. So we might as well. And... why don't we just bottom that? So at this point, we're starting to stabilize, we're starting to really play our control game, and we've got a pretty good beat stick here. He's got nothing else for us this turn, so uh, upkeep, we're going to get something back, and it is the Dissolve, so that's really, really sweet. Uh, we draw the Gutter Snipe too, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and go into attacks. But before we actually hit him, we're going to shock him. And the reason why I play shock is, one, because it's cheap. And two, because, well, it is only two damage, but the third and most important reason is because it pumps up our guy here to another eight damage, so... 
what I can do is hit him again. And this should be game. GG, buddy. That was fun. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> and that is game. Alright, back for game two. And it looks like this hand is decent. Pretty keepable. So we're going to go ahead and just keep it. It's a little land heavy, but that's okay. Okay. What are we playing against here? Black, green, and blue. Okay. Okay, there's another land, so let's play the um, Crumbling Necropolis there. Don't really have a turn one play anyway. I mean, we've got the shock, but really don't need to do that right now. And he's just going to play land and pass the turn. So nice, we got another thing twice. That's pretty good. Let's play another blue source. And we'll just pass the turn. And does he have anything? Okay, he does not, so let's think twice. I'm guessing this is some kind of control deck, but uh, we draw another land, another uh, crumbling necropolis, which is pretty good, so we'll go ahead and play that, and we'll pass the turn. Very, very slow starts for these decks. Unfortunately, these videos do take a little long, and I apologize for that, but hey, that's the nature of the beast. So what does he play? He plays a Masked Admirers. Hmm. How big is that thing? It's 3-2. We could get rid of it with a shock. Why don't we think twice again? Alright, that's not bad. So the thing is, whenever he plays a, a creature spell, he can pay two extra green. If he does, he can return Mass Admirers from his graveyard to his hand. Of course, the nice thing is, uh, a 3-2 for 4 is not really good. But the fact that it, he draws a card every time that he plays, then he can recur it with its own ability is pretty solid. So, let's play the uh, Guild Gate. And I think there's no reason to do anything other than just to pass the turn right now. If he decides to attack, um, I'm going to kill it with shock. If he doesn't attack, I'm not going to bother with shock right now. We'll see what he decides to do. Okay, so he's going to attack. So before damage is dealt, we're going to go ahead and do two damage to it. Okay. There we go. So, get rid of a threat. I mean, yeah, it's recurrable. But at least... Uh, does he have anything else right now? No, he's just going to play land. Alright, let's play a mountain. And unfortunately, we can't... We can't stop this ability with our counterspell. But we can't stop the actual card from being played. The trouble is, it just puts it in the graveyard where it can be recurred again. So, it does become somewhat of a pain in the ass. But uh, let's see what we can do. On his turn, we're probably just going to think twice. Uh, I'm sure he's got one of his own. Otherwise, he wouldn't be stopping the timer. No, he's got a Pestermite. Pestermite enters the battlefield. We may tap or untap target permanent. Really? Uh, do I want to do something about this? Oh, uh, I think he's just playing it for the two green. So I'm just going to counter it. Maybe that was the wrong move. Let's keep that on top. Maybe that was the wrong move. But I wonder if he can... Yeah, I guess he can still do it. Because it's whenever he casts it. So that does kind of suck. But at least he doesn't get his pester right. Alright. And he plays the Mast Admirers again. So it would have been better to actually counter the Mast Admirers, I guess. Than it would have been for the pester right. But then maybe not, because the Mast Admirer just comes back anyway. And we can't do anything here, so let's just go ahead and pass the turn. So we get the uh, swap here. And can I play this thing? Not yet. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, actually, I can play that. Well, what's pretty sweet about this is if I play this now, then I can just get rid of his 3 2 really easily next time. So I think I'll just play that. Seems pretty good. He doesn't have a counter spell for it because he's not. You know, I don't know. He could have negated it, I guess, but it is what it is. Uh, we're probably going to get hit for three here. 
but at least we do have some removal and uh, a bounce spell in our hand as well that we can use just in case he plays something really really scary uh, for seven which I don't think he will but we'll, we'll find out seven right yeah three four five six seven so let's see what he has okay that's a little annoying So I think he's going to draw a bunch of cards now. The fact that he's playing green and blue just by itself dictates to me that he might be playing that Time Warp uh, Species Gorger combo, which I've seen quite a lot of. The thing is though, I don't understand why he would do this right now. I mean, that's the kind of spell that you play when you don't have a lot of cards in hand, because now he's got to get rid of four cards, so it's kind of silly. Why... Why would he play that? Now he's going to draw another card. Alright, well now he's going to discard. I think that was a bit of a silly move, to be honest. Because that's something I would have done if I didn't have a lot of cards in hand. Oh, excuse me. Oh my god, guys. It's getting late here. I'm getting mighty late. Well, okay, well, what did I say? There was a species gorger right there. So, that wasn't far off. Well then, uh, let's just go ahead and... Can we activate? I think we can activate this at instant speed, right? Yeah, yeah we can do that. Alright. Well, let's just pass the turn. He can do whatever he wants to do. We're just gonna wait until we draw into our, one of our win conditions. In the meantime, we're just gonna be playing lands and uh, trying to slow him down as much as possible. So he's gonna go to combat. And I'm going to give this minus two minus two I probably don't want to tap the blue yeah that's fine All right, so I'll kill that oh let him hit me for one not a big deal and then we'll see what he has and if he has something dangerous we can think twice hopefully into a counter spell he's gonna cultivate that's okay lands don't kill I mean, unless you're playing Barbarigmos Enraged, and in that case, lands do kill. Actually, in that case, lands are lightning bolts. <laughs> if you guys uh, don't know what Barbarigmos Enraged is, look him up. Uh, he's he's pretty crazy. He's not very valuable, but he's a pretty solid EDH commander, and he's uh, can be pretty scary. Okay, let's think back to draw some more cards. Okay, and then we'll think twice again. Think back, is that what I just said? Think back. Okay, we get a bunch of land. Oh, we got a nullify, that's sweet. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I think we just passed the turn again. We're just gonna keep getting rid of his creatures. And he's gonna think Pestermite again? Uh, he's probably gonna try to tap this, so why don't we respond by killing that. Seems good. And I don't want to nullify that. To be honest, it's not not a big deal. Not a big deal. Is he gonna to respond to his own pestermite? What's he doing? Oh, he's just been replaced by AI. Okay. Well I guess I'm just gonna finish this game. I mean it's gonna take a little while, but yeah, he decided to tap one of my lands. That's fine. Not the most uh, efficient use of Pestermite, but uh, actually Pestermite is a pretty crazy combo piece in some modern decks. Uh, he works very well. This is the kind of thing I wanted to nullify. Am I not happy that I saved that thing? Beautiful. I mean, I guess he left because he's realizing, you know, he's being kind of controlled and... Alright, uh, let's... You know what, I'm not even gonna bother. I'll just take the three. And then I'll just I'll just keep obelisking stuff, if that's even a word. And let's think twice again. We got a lot of think twice this game, that's pretty good. We keep uh, th thinning our deck out. Oh, we get a gutter snipe, that's pretty sweet too. That's actually one of our win conditions. Uh, so why don't we play that, and we'll play one of these. And we'll play one of these. And now we can make some magic happen, so we're gonna pass the turn. 
We're at 10 health, man, you, so uh, anything could happen. But uh, we'll, we'll see what he wants to do. If he decides to attack, I think I'm just going to obelisk it. Alright. That's a problem. Let's think twice. He'll take two. Let me draw one. And this guy gets bigger. So I I guess this is the combo here. Or one of the one of the combo pieces anyway. I think in that instance it probably would have been better to use the obelisk, because now I can't use the obelisk, right? So now we're gonna take another two. What is this? Turn trigger creature control, target creature you don't control to its owner side. Interesting. Okay, well at least it's not getting killed. That's fine. Oh, and he's gonna... He's gonna abuse the visionary. Okay. Well... The nice thing is we can... Oh, we have double ulcerate. That's pretty sweet. Well, why don't we play this? And... I think we want to do this main phase because on his upkeep this thing is going to go off. And he's going to return... Like, I don't know, visionary to his hand and he's going to be able to keep abusing that. So why don't we do that? We're all out of think twice as well here. No, we got one more in the deck. Hmm. Okay. So why don't we do this? Okay. So he takes two from Gutter Snipe. That goes back to his hand. And now we just pass the turn. And we're not going to bother attacking. There's really no point. I mean, I guess we could have, but yeah. That's not how we win. And there's a Chasm Skulker. Uh, yeah. I'm going to kill the Chasm Skulker. To be honest. Because the Chasm Skulker is a problem. It just gets bigger and bigger. And there's the Species Gorger. So in, in response to the Species Gorger... Uh, I'm going to choose the Chasm Skulker. Yeah. Solid. And yeah, he gets his uh, Species Gorger. Ah, he gets a Pestermite. What is he targeting? He's gonna tap that. Uh, okay, if I do this and this, I'm gonna be taking six. Yeah, I don't wanna do that. Definitely don't wanna do that. I'm pretty low on health. I think I should splash white in here, honestly. Just to be able to gain some health, man. Because this is getting pretty brutal. I don't want to block with the 1-1, one, one, so I guess I'm taking another 3, that'll leave me at 5. That'll make it real interesting trying to use these spells here, but well, we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can hang on. So he gets bigger. Uh, should we... Three damage to target player, okay. Do we have enough? Three? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we don't have enough. Because I guess my train of thought is if we played these, it would kill us, but it would kill him first with Gutter Snipe if he was low enough, right? So, what I can do is I can wait until he attacks, and then I can block with one of these guys and give them plus four, plus four, and they just make it really difficult for him. The problem is these flyers are going to kill me real fast if I don't do anything about them. So I do have a shock. I think we just pass. We just pass. I'm going to see what he attacks with, okay? If he doesn't attack with the uh, with this guy, then I'm going to obelisk his 2-1 flyer. If he does attack with this, I'm going to block with Chasm Skulker and pump him up. And then I'm going to probably shock one of his other flyers. In fact, I think I'm gonna shock one of his other flyers right now. 
just so now he takes another two damage he's at 13 and then he doesn't have the choice he has to attack with uh, with a 6-6 six, six or the 2-1 so we'll see what happens I was thinking about it though kinda long for a computer there's the master admirers again oh man the threats just keep on coming I don't know if we're gonna be able to survive this game, but at least we had a pretty good chance. Look at all the lands this guy's got. What in the hell? Oh, sweet Jesus Christ! What is this? In the turn, target creature gets plus three plus three plus, uh, plus three plus three gains trample. And whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw that many cards. Well, I think this is just gonna kill us, uh, unless we can we can't do enough damage to him. I'm thinking about the best way to respond to this. We can figure out a way to kill it. I think we can kill it, but I don't. I think we're dead anyway. I think we're just dead. The species gorger is just going to be too big, so he's going to attack with that. All right, and we can block. So we're going to block like this, and we're going to. Well, I guess we can't block that thing. And then. Ah, we can't pump it up actually, can we? So that's gonna be... Oh, it's not even worth it, it's got trample. Yeah, so we're dead. Alright, we're just gonna pass and just move on to the next game. That's not much we can do. Alright, we're back for uh, the third and final game here. And let's see what we have. Two Chasm Skulkers. Uh, kinda low on the land though. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we have the Quicken. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe just because of the Quicken. Yeah. Let's just keep that. It could be worse, right? It could be nothing but just one land hand or... No lands at all. So let's see what we're playing against here. I'm going to guess red, just by the looks of the uh, portrait there, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so we're playing against at least black. Probably have some removal. Speaking of removal... Let's play in the Crumbling Necropolis, and uh, we'll just pass the turn. We don't really have a lot of um, sorceries in this deck, so the primary reason for Quicken is mainly just to draw us a card for one, which is pretty good. Okay, black and blue. What is this thing? 1-1 one, one with Regenerate. Okay, let's draw a card. Okay, good. We're getting somewhere. Uh, the question is now, do we pay? Do we play the patient game here and wait patiently while he plays whatever? Oh, this is good. Or do we just play a Chasm Skulker? I think I want to just get aggressive and play the Chasm Skulker. I know that's not something that you want to do in a control deck, but to be honest, like, I feel like most of the games that I've been playing recently with this control deck have been games in which sometimes I'm a little too... Yeah, there's dead weight. Sometimes I'm a little too easy going and I pay for it because basically I can't stabilize fast enough. Fortunately we have an extra one of those and hopefully he doesn't have any other plays. For two mana I doubt he does so he's got five cards in hand so it could be anything. He could play another one of those things. You gonna play anything buddy? No? Just gonna sit there? Do nothing? Come on. Okay, finally passes the turn. Alright, we got to nullify, uh, so that's pretty good. Do I play another one of these though? I don't know if I want to take the chance. I want to at least be able to have the option to counter something, so... Considering he didn't play anything last turn, at least no creatures, yeah, I think I'm just going to pass the turn and I'll just play it a little bit slower. I, I hate playing so slow though, because, yeah, there you go. So that was a good call. 
it was definitely a good call. I'm just gonna attack. Uh, yeah, I can actually kill that because now he can't regenerate it. Good. So we're at 16, but at least uh, he doesn't have any threats and he's tapped out, so at least we get to be left alone for a turn. Now the question is, do I play my Chasm Skulker, or do I wait? He's probably got something else, but... Oh, there's a Gutter Snipe too. Yeah, let's play the Chasm Skulker. What the hell? It is what it is. If we lose the game but because of that, then we lose the game. But we need to have something on the board. That's pretty sweet. Don't have the mana for that, though. Does he have anything? Tribute to Hunger. Sweet Jesus. He's got all the removal. Alright. Better than the Gutter Snipe, I guess. I don't know. Anything else? That's about it. Well, the good thing is he didn't play any extra lands, either. And now I think I'm just gonna pass the turn. I'm just gonna see what he has. Because it would be nice to scry into a land, you know what I mean? So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Or not really the benefit of the doubt. What I'm trying to say is I'll give him the impression that I don't have anything to play. And then I'll just I'll just dissolve whatever he plays just so I can scry. Yeah, that's not happening, bro. And it's gonna go on bottom. We need a land. Pretty badly. Okay, well brain maggot works fine too. Do we have an ult? no, we just got rid of the ulcerate. Uh so bad. Alright, let's Brain Maggot. Let's see what he has. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> he couldn't counter it either. Um, why doesn't He's only got three mana. And I think he's only got one blue. So we're, we don't have to worry about Talran for a while. We don't have to worry about this for a while. So, yeah, let's just take that. <laughs> so you can't counter anything else. Alright, well, hopefully it doesn't top deck anything, but we will see. We shall see. Yeah, he's gonna play something for sure. Uh, well, I guess this was kind of a bad idea, too, just because... Well, no, I guess it was a good idea. I'm just thinking... Whenever Anger of the Gods comes down, speaking of which, there's another one. <laughs> um, he's still only on... Oh, he's got... He'll be able to play Talrand. And I don't want him to play Talrand. Although, if he does... It'll die to this. And so will all the Drakes. And so will pretty much anything else that he had in his hand, right? Uh, what do I want to do? I don't want to play this right now, just because if I do, it's just going to die to this. So, but then again, if it dies to it, at least he doesn't have a nullify in his hand that he can play. So yeah, I guess I do play this. Right? Because then, if I kill this thing, as, long, as, as well as everything else that he has on his board, and then I play the, uh, the gutter snipe, then he's going to have a nullify for it, right? So there you go. There's the Talrand. So that's a bit of a pain, but, you know, it is what it is. And he's going to swing with his 2-2. It's fine. We're not going to block. We're not going to trade. I'm just going to wait for him to play, like, everything. Just empty his hand and go crazy and have, like, six or seven drakes on board. Hey, speaking of which... Why don't we just brain mag it again? Speaking of going crazy, I mean. Let's see what else he has. He's got four cards in hand. Probably a land and... Oh, no. Oh, that's disgusting. Alright, I guess I'll just have to not attack. <laughs> uh, target player chooses a card in his or her hand and discards the rest. That could be a problem. Three, four, five. I'm not really worried about the Agent of the Fates either, so I think I'm just going to take this. I'll just have to make sure not to attack. Which is fine, because this is not how we... Uh, that's not how we win anyway. We don't we don't turn guys sideways, so that's fine. At least I know he has assassinate now. So very, very good. I'm losing my voice here though, guys. Holy crap. I'm talking all day. Alright, there's that thing. Warden of Evil style. 
His flyers cost uh, one less now. Which is fine. Man, the real shitty thing though is that in order to kill all of his things, I'm gonna have to give him two of his spells back, which are this thing and his nullify. So I really don't want to do that. And I don't want to block either. Although we're at 14 now. Should I just do it? No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna block. I'm not gonna block. We'll see what he has next turn. Hopefully we get something decent. There's a land. It's about time for that. Well, I guess we can just wait to um, dissolve something. Maybe we can scry into something good. The thing is, I'd like to be able to play this before I anger. Because at least I can guarantee it's not going to get nullified, at least by the spell that I took from him. He might have another one in his hand. The problem is getting up to six mana is going to take a while. Elixir of Immortality. Um, does he have anything else worth playing? Probably not. Let's just counterspell it. He's going to take two. Got to snipe triggers. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess we kind of want to land on the top, right? He's going to attack. One, two, three, four, five. We won't be able to play it next turn, but we'll be able to play it the turn after. So four, eight. We're going to be at four health. Why is he not attacking with that? Oh, I guess because I could just trade. All right, well, we're taking a bit of a bit of a risk. I think I'm going to want to anger next uh, next turn, to be honest. Yeah, I want to I want to do that because it'll get rid of this. It's kind of unfortunate, but I might as well just attack. I might as well attack an extra 2 points of damage in. Uh maybe not with this. Yeah. The thing is if he blocks one of these, he's going to be getting it back anyway, which is fine. And I'll get 3 points instead. So yeah. I'll attack with everything. Is he not going to block at all? Does he think I have like a shock or something? Yeah, he's not going to block at all. Okay. So we get four points. Oh, the thing is though, man, it's between being at four health, which is a really dangerous place where I don't want to be, or getting this thing nullified. Which I really don't want to happen, but I need to kill his stuff, like, especially Talrand. So yeah. I'm gonna do that. He's gonna take another two. And then everything's gonna get killed. There you go. I had to do it, man. I had to do it. I gotta survive, right? So... He's got enough mana for that Mania spell now, whatever that thing was called, though. That thing. So I think I'm going to keep this. What's awesome is he actually tapped out for that. That is so sweet. If I get a land right now, oh my god. I can't play this yet though. Oh. <laughs> That's so terrible. Ah oh, man, please tap out. Just please. Please tap out. Okay, he's got three blue. Anything else? Son of a... Oh, that's so bad. Okay, well, I guess he can't nullify this thing. So I'm going to take three. Then I'll be at eight. And then I'll be able to kill his guy. So I don't know. There's still a chance for me to survive here. There's a brain maggot. Well, he's not going to be able to target anything anyway. I think it's just spells, right? Oh no, it's anything. Damn it. Well, I guess that's the first thing I kill then. Oh, 
Oh, sweet, I can get both of them back. Nice. Alright, well... Let's... Kill this thing. Yeah. Get our Charm Breaker Devils back. And then... Whenever you cast a spell, that targets agent of each each opponent sacrifices a creature. Okay. That's fine. We'll see what he plays. We'll be able to kill that thing anyway. Okay, he plays a scroll thief. It's fine. Well, it's three, which kind of sucks. He's going to attack. Alright. Let's give it minus two, minus two. And... At least we'll have something to play. Ah, oh, but he's still got that stupid nullify though, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yep, he does. He's got nullify. Oh, man. We'll have to bait it out, I guess. With Charmbreaker Devils. What? How did he not nullify that? He had enough mana, right? I mean, that's really weird. Oh, uh, because he's going to Mind Rot now. Oh, man, so bad. Well, if I knew he wasn't going to do that, if he wasn't going to nullify it, well, I guess I can't use this anyway, then I would have just played Inferno Titan. Well, whatever, it's cool. We uh, We get a random spell back into our hand with this, so that's good. Quicken. Ah, uh, don't want to attack though. Don't want to attack because he can just. Well, I don't know. I don't want to draw a card, discard a card either. So we'll see what he does. Let's leave the Charm Breaker Devils intact for now. I'll just pass the turn. And then at the end of his turn, uh, we'll either do three damage to him. Oh, that's a problem. That is a problem. Okay, we didn't get what we wanted there. Royal Elemental is a problem. But you know what's funny? <laughs> it just dies anyway. See you later. That is probably the shortest lifespan our Royal Elemental's ever had. Then again, most of them don't even resolve, so there you go. Okay, nice. We get a counter spell. That's pretty good. Let's play Red Source, because we've got plenty of blue. And... We'll pass turn. No sense in attacking again. We're only at 5, which is really dangerous. And had he been playing also red, uh, the Banefire would have been... Ooh, yeah. That's something we probably want to... Fix. Let's see what we get on the top of our deck here. Yeah, it's bought on the shit out of that. Oh man, Charmbreaker Devil's so good. <laughs> and in, uh, he can't attack with a Scroll Thief. Let's do three damage to his face. I almost missed that too. It's pretty close. Okay, what are we gonna get? Nice counter spells for days. <laughs> uh, we'll just pass the turn again. Man, this game, these games in total just have been taking so long. Okay, well, we can't counter a land. Is he gonna attack? Nope. Alright, let's do another three damage. Man, I'm gonna just eat my hat if we win with Ob uh, Obelisk. He's at six, so he's on a turn two clock. Two turn clock, rather. And nice, we get an ulcerate, that's pretty sweet. Not that I'd ever want to use it. But hey, it is what it is. He's not running any burn spells though, so I should be pretty safe from that. Um, what do I want to do here? Do we just kill that and swing? Yeah, why the fuck not? Let me just do that. Let me just kill that. We'll be at two though. Bit of a risk we're taking, but... That's okay. This could be a game winner. Actually, it is a game winner. Unless he's got a bounce. So let's go to combat.
Alright. We'll declare uh, attackers, and that's going to be game. Thank you very much for joining me, guys.